Hey there, welcome to another episode of Your Concrete Success Podcast. This is your host, Danny Barrera, owner and founder of Concrete Marketing Crew. I'm here with two very special guests. You will not want to miss this episode. In fact, if you're listening to this on Spotify, Apple, on Amazon, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel to watch the entire video because you're not going to want to miss the tips, strategies in order to become in, an engaging content creator for your concrete coding and decorative concrete business. Uh, here we are with uh, Maddie Barrera, my partner, wife. Uh, Maddie, talk to us. Hey Let's everyone. introduce Connie. All right, I'm super excited about today's podcast because today's podcast, I get questions about this all the time. Many different types of questions and objections and how do I do this and how do I do that? So we have a very special guest today. She is a social media content guru and she's going to be teaching us or talking to us about how to create social media content content in the codings industry that will lend you more clients so i'm super excited to have her on our episode today and what's her name her name is connie connie welcome aboard hi thank you guys so much for having me i'm so excited to be here and talking to you absolutely so Connie, talk to us. I mean, how do you land here? How do you get here? Give us a little bit of your background story and how do you end up in the social media world creating engaging content, some of the most engaging content I've uh, seen here in this industry. Talk to us. Love it. Cool. So I got started in social media marketing about 10 years ago. Mm. Um, since then, I went to college. I was in real estate, but all roads left me back to being a full-time social media manager and content creator. Mm. My boyfriend, Daniel, owns the Epoxy Pros, and yeah. I have grown them from, I think he started at about 1,000 followers on Instagram to now over 62,000, all organically, no paid ads, no paid marketing, no paid followers, awesome. and 64,000 on TikTok. So we've had a mm. lot of organic growth, and we've learned a lot along the way, but yeah, that's... Wow. How I got here. So the question is, did he actually ask you to come on board and do the social media or mm -hmm. how did that happen? So it was actually really funny. So when he started the company, he was doing the social media posting. He was what he was doing was paying a professional photographer to mm. basically come in every finished job and just take content of the finished floors. And it's great. But the, I mean, the photos were beautiful, but it wasn't really telling a story. So I kept begging him like, let me help you with social media. Let me take over your social media. Let me help you. Yeah. And it took a while until he got so busy that he couldn't handle the social media posting anymore. So finally he let me and I started posting um, reels. Mm -hmm. That's when reels just started. And I think it was 2020. And once that happened, um, the followers just came pouring in. The clients came flooding in. So Thankfully, I was persistent, begging him, like, let me help you, because he was not interested in the help at first. Mm. So got that's, it. that's how I got I got involved. Awesome. And um, Maddie, what are some of the questions that we get from clients? You know, that they're always asking, hey, what are some tips to post on social media, et cetera? And we used to offer a service to post social media right. content. And we realized, mm -hmm. hey, look, this is not even making a dent. I mean, we're just putting a logo and mm -hmm. putting some cute words in it. And it, it just, mm -hmm. it's not a, a scalable model. And it's something that we start encouraging clients to do in-house. Uh, but Maddie, what are some of the questions that come your way from clients? I think one of the major things, which is what Connie was saying, is that um, our clients feel like you need to hire a professional photographer and you need to have like this whole elaborate um schedule and time to create social media content so my question is when you're out there working working all day long how do you have the time and what are some tips that you can share to be able to record this footage and this content so that it can be turned into social media content yeah that's a good question so one of the main things that i always focus on is first of all the story behind the content i kind of try to think about okay is this going to be a before and after video is this going to be a crazy story that happened about a job um and when it comes to creating the content i like to tell people who 
ask me this question, the same question, how do I create content while I'm working? And I always tell them, instead of thinking about creating content, you should just focus on documenting what mm. you're already oh, doing. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, because it hits different, you know? It yeah. changes the narrative from I, I need to be a content creator to yeah. I need to document what I'm already doing. Mm -hmm. So the right. best way to do this, I feel, is to invest in a tripod. You can find one for $23 or less on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And you can literally take content by yourself, set your tripod up, set your phone up, put it on a time lapse or just, you know, go back and forth between starting the video, pausing the video. But that's how you create kind of like a arsenal of content um, mm -hmm. to be able mm -hmm. to use for future mm -hmm. editing mm -hmm. within video apps. Like when I first started taking over the Epoxy Pro social media, I wasn't even using any video apps. I was just recording directly on Instagram and TikTok. Mm. Wow. So a lot of people think you need to have all this equipment, these mm -hmm. fancy cameras, mm -hmm. these fancy microphones, but we didn't have any of that in the beginning. I was using my iPhone 12 the entire mm. time and it's, it wasn't the newest phone at the time, but it worked. And that's that's the whole thing is like, don't focus so much on creating, 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 just focus on documenting what you're mm. already doing. Nice. Because the things that you do on a daily basis are things that to you might be minute and might be right. uninteresting and yeah. nothing's, you know, um, like that can be turned into a story, but to other people, those are stories, those are tips, that is something educational or entertaining to watch. Mm -hmm. So I would just focus on documenting with a tripod and whatever phone you have. That's awesome, that's good. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, so explain to us the difference between creating and documenting because for some contractors they might they might think like it's the same thing what's the difference from the approach the mindset the angles the type of footage you're trying to get so when it comes to creating content mm -hmm. um that's why i prefer using the term documenting mm. because you're just recording what you're doing you're not um editing a video you're not doing any of that even if that's something that you're not really comfortable with yet it's good to just have the content in a so like a Google Drive, or I'm very organized with our content. So mm. I take a bunch of content, I save everything in a Google Drive, um, and I repurpose content all the time. Wow. But you can easily create content, you know, with vet video editing apps. So one of the lower cost ones that I was using in the beginning is InShot. And mm. it's very easy to just take all that content you just took on your phone, select the videos, put them in InShot, and save it all as one video and just go ahead and post it. If you want to get a little bit more creative, experiment a little more, I we invested in CapCut. Mm -hmm. There's it's similar to InShot, but what I like about CapCut is that there's templates, mm -hmm. so it makes it so easy to create content that it doesn't take so long to think like what do I do, where do I start, things like that. Like it's pretty simple to just kind of plug in the content, the videos, the photos, and CapCut will do the rest for you if you don't have the money to invest in a video editor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. So before we got started here with this podcast, you talk, we were talking about the title of the, the podcast here. We were thinking about hooks and, hey, how to create viral content for your concrete coding business. You say, well, um, I have a different approach, different mindset for that. Can you elaborate on that and then uh, all the insights that you shared with us? Yeah, earlier? yeah. So a lot of people think the best way to um, build a brand or what have you on Instagram and social media is by going viral all the mm -hmm. time. But mm -hmm. when you're just starting out and you're just starting to get comfortable and you're learning how to use these editing tools, I believe your focus should be on talking to your ideal client. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking about the concrete coding industry, you shouldn't post content that you think is going to be viral. You should post content for your ideal follower. Who is that gonna be? Probably a client in your city. So mm -hmm. you wanna post the things that you offer a mm -hmm. before and after, a transformation video. Mm -hmm. Those videos aren't always going to be the most viral, but they are going to show your ideal target audience what it is you offer, what you can do, what services you provide. Mm -hmm. That way they are intrigued and willing to buy from you, willing to you know work with you. Right. When you go viral, it sounds great in hindsight, but mm -hmm. in reality, when you're going viral, you are reaching an audience that's not your audience. Right. Mm -hmm. We've gone viral before. A video has like about 13 million views on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are haters. A lot of them yeah, are people yeah. talking bad things <laughs> on the video. They don't like the floor. Uh, they don't like this. They don't like that. Right. You know, so it's just not as all it's cracked up to be. 
if you're going viral and you have a reason or you set up a foundation to monetize off that virality, mm -hmm. that's a different story. Okay. So if you're selling like, let's say a course, digital products, an ebook, then I guess it makes sense to go viral because you might find new people interested, right? Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, when you're just starting and you're getting your feet wet with creating content, going viral is not your goal. You're gonna be heartbroken when you realize how mm -hmm. hard it actually is to go viral. Right. It's really not that easy. I love that. Now, <clears throat> walk me through uh, the thinking process. What's the biggest difference between me going live and taking the iPhone and leaving, leaving the iPhone running, going live on Facebook, Insta Instagram, et cetera, versus documenting the different stages, someone grinding the floor, patching the cracks and doing all of that? So we, we do this a lot. We go live on TikTok. And the reason why we go live on TikTok more than Instagram is because TikTok is really trying to push you to new people that you might be interested in. Mm. So a lot of the content you see is not actually people you follow. It's mm -hmm. from the For You page. Mm. So when you go live, it gets pushed to the For You page, which means people who don't necessarily follow you yeah. will find you. Okay. Every time we go live, we probably get at least 100 followers because those are new people who sees what we're doing. Wow. So. When it comes to like documenting the process, I like to often show the full process of laying a certain type of floor down mm -hmm. for the epoxy pros. Like, so we'll do a metallic or a flake or something interesting. We'll go live, but at the same time, so I'll be going live with one person's phone. Mm. Then I'll also be taking clips with another phone mm. to get, to create a video. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I yes, mean? Yes. Because I mean, and it's like a multitasking, like you can't, it's hard to do this, if, especially if you're by yourself or right, you're with right. guys who don't know what they're doing. So it's, it's, you know, even if it takes you kind of hiring someone, even if it's your own family member saying, mm -hmm. Hey, can you please come with me to this job? Like, I need you to help me just take this video for me. Mm -hmm. It it's worth it. But right. what's cool about going live on TikTok, like I mentioned is you get a new follower base, the people that never knew you existed to follow you and follow your story. When you're posting like before and after videos, it's only like so many before and after videos you can post until it gets kind of like, okay, it's kind of, it gets kind of boring. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of find that healthy balance between being, show, letting your personality shine through in mm -hmm. the content and um, being educational. So a lot of, in my industry, which is um, social media marketing, a lot yes. of people call it, um, edutaining because mm -hmm. it's like educational and entertaining Entertain, content right. mm -hmm. you have to kind of find a healthy balance between what that means for you but people don't realize that if you don't start posting mm -hmm. you're never going to find that balance right, mm. right. so mm -hmm. you got you have to try yeah. and there's a lot of resources out there that can help you like i mentioned cap cut looking at other accounts for inspiration um, you kind of have to think outside of the box. And if you're not that person that knows how to think outside of the box, then you either need to research it mm -hmm. or hire someone or invest in the knowledge that it right. takes to do this. Because we, I mean, social media has been honestly like very life changing for yes. the epoxy pros. Um, a lot of their, a lot of their clients and jobs come from social media. We've gotten huge jobs from social media, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And the first thing people say is, oh, I saw you on TikTok. I saw you on Instagram. I saw you here. So we've been, and we just got started on YouTube and people have even called and said, I just saw you on YouTube. Yeah. We don't even have a thousand subscribers <laughs> yet. That's awesome. So yeah. it's like, you know, people don't um, understand that social media is, in my opinion, the one of the strongest tools you can use yes. mm -hmm. to get those people who don't know who you are to come in and, and be interested in what you're doing. Right. So. You guys started from the from ground zero. It's not like you guys started yeah. with the amount of followers that you guys have right no. now. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I have so, a question. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, buddy. so like you said um, a little while ago, I was we were talking about this. I will show your Instagram account and your TikTok account to our clients who are asking us where to start and how to start and how to record and what to post and what not to post. And I, I'm always like, well, let's look at the epoxy bros. Let's see what they're mm -hmm. doing. So I would like for you to give me some tips on how to create a branded kind of vibe in social media, like your top, th your top branding tips, top three. So for branding um, within your content, mm -hmm. I always recommend kind of having your logo in the video. It just, um, 
I feel like subconsciously reminds people, well, first of all, a lot of people steal our content. Mm -hmm. So yes. we've actually yes. had to oh, yeah. start putting our logo. Oh yep. my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> we've had to start putting our logo on everything because people like to take our content. And I it's know. funny because they'll post a video and the video will go viral <laughs> for them. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, oh my gosh. So have just have your logo on the video because you never know what's going to hit, what's going to go viral. Um, if you're talking in a video or you have text, I would definitely use your brand colors as the text colors. You know, if your colors are blue, I wouldn't use like red for your text colors. It just mm -hmm. helps subconsciously build the brand awareness for people who are watching it because people start to associate you with a color, mm -hmm. your brand with a color. Mm -hmm. So um, have your logo, have the branding colors. And then um, the third branding tip I would give is probably to just, if this is for like epo epoxy concrete coating, show your personality so that people nice. can kind of feel who you are in a brand. Mm, um, because there are good. so, yeah, there are so many people who do concrete coatings, mm -hmm. epoxy coatings. So how do you differentiate yourself? You can differentiate, differentiate yourself by talking about um, education or educational topics or giving them a piece of your personality. Um, we have a slogan and it's like, call the pros, the epoxy pros. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like a playoff of James Bond, mm. but it works. People, you know, people will feed off of that and you create more of a memorable brand Yes. when you kind of give someone something to remember, something to say like, oh, call the pros, the epoxy pros. It's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. Commercials yeah. usually have like a jingle, mm -hmm. you know, so those are a few ways you can kind of differentiate That's so good. your brand. Can you talk a little bit about uh, when you got started with Daniel and you started having him document and start to share tips and strategy, was, was he like always camera friendly and mm -hmm. always looking good as he does? Or what, what, what was that like? Yeah, so that was fun. Um, he, when we started recording him, um, I think it's a little nerve wracking for anyone mm. to have a camera in your face, even me. He was recording me earlier today because we're vlogging yeah, this yeah. podcast and I got nervous. I got tongue tied. Yeah. It's not always going to be perfect. We posted videos that we look back on and it's cringy. Yeah. But oh, yeah. we also weren't afraid to be cringy. Mm -hmm. And it's cringy mm. until it works. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's cringy until people start copying what you do. Mm. It's cringy until you get a $100,000 job. That's right. And mm -hmm. people are like, how did yeah. you get that job? Mm -hmm. Well, it started with posting one cringy video mm -hmm. that maybe he wasn't totally comfortable, mm. but we kept going. And the more you post or create the content or even practice, the mm. more comfortable you will become. So that's good. So what tip would you have to a contractor? They're like, well, I know I have to do this, but what what tip would you give them in order to start showing their faces and their voices? This is a good question. So, yeah. so the, the number one tip I have, if you are trying to get started posting content and you don't know you're, or you're shy, start talking to the camera on your stories mm. and telling people what you're doing. Or if you're at a job, make the time. Even if you have 10 followers, it doesn't matter because, you know, 10 followers could be 10 clients. Would you like mm -hmm. to have 10 jobs? Mm -hmm. Probably. So if you have 10 jobs lined up, now you're looking at it differently. Mm -hmm. So I recommend talking to the camera like you're talking to your best friend or someone that you're really close to and comfortable with, because that, again, shows your personality yes. and helps associate your brand with a certain tone. So talk to them and say, hey, guys. This is Connie. I'm here at a flake job, and today we're going to put down the vapor barrier base coat. If you don't know what the base coat is, it's mm. blah, blah, blah. Like, get into it. Yeah. And don't be shy to um, educate. Yeah. Don't be shy to give a, a crack a joke if you're funny. If you're a oh, jokester, yeah, 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 yeah. crack a joke. If you're not, don't be something that you're not. That's good. But just talking on your stories will really help you get comfortable with creating content. I love it. Yeah, be yourself. That's like rule number one. And you see, like, the way I have my intensity is not the same way Maddie has her intensity. No. We're talking about that, but that place, like, I love this. This just gets me excited to be in front of a camera. And this is my energy level. But not everyone's like that. Like, not everyone can pull it off. And uh, just uh, a side note here. We don't edit the intros. If you guys have been listening or <laughs> watching the uh, podcast we, we go straight through. I mean, Christian was telling me the other day, hey, you want us to edit the intro? I'm like, dude, let's just roll, bro. So uh, we roll <laughs> fresh. And um, if you're listening to us right now, make sure you go over to our YouTube channel, Concrete Marketing Crew. 
your Concrete Success podcast because we're about to show you guys social media channels that Connie is managing, her social media account, as well as the Epoxy Pros. You don't want to miss this specific section. Make sure that you follow us, you like the content, and you leave a comment with your business name. We're going to be giving out a hoodie that has crushed the standards here at the end of the month. So make sure that you leave us a comment with your business name. We'd love to hear you out. So, uh, Christian, if you can pull up here the social media accounts here, um, uh, let's uh, let's walk us through the Epoxy Pros here. Um, take it away, Connie. Give us what the, the way that you establish the feed here. Uh, maybe talk to us about some of your favorite videos yeah. or what people call the viral videos. I, I know you don't like that word, but take it away. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is a statistic that you have about six seconds from the time someone clicks on your profile for them to decide whether or not they want to follow you. So mm. one of my biggest things is optimize your profile. Okay. Um, we do this by, first of all, having his main photo as his logo. That's the first thing. People associate you with your logo, it goes, ties back into your brand, ties back into the colors. We have his colors right there, very clear. Um, the second thing is just your, your name on Instagram, we're talking about Instagram specifically, is search engine optimized. Mm. So you need to put keywords in your name line on Instagram mm -hmm. where people could search and find you. Interesting. You put the city in there? We did. Um, I think now we left it at South Florida because there's other things we want to push. Okay. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, of but course. yeah, if like let's say you are uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, a uh, epoxy flooring company, I would put epoxy flooring in Atlanta, Georgia. You want to have those words in there. You want to think about what people are searching on Instagram. They're not, if your name is 123 epoxy, your, that's your business name and you just started an account, no one knows who you are. Mm -hmm. So no one's searching one, two, three epoxy. So Christian, can you zoom in for us so that uh, the viewers can see the name and you're, you're mentioning right underneath the numbers, right? You have the followers and right mm -hmm. underneath that, that's what you're talking about. Yes. So that's the name line right there where so it that's says the name line. That's the name line. Interesting. Okay. That is what's search engine optimized. That is where you want to put words where people are actually searching, not right your business name because if you have don't have a lot of followers people don't know who you are no one's going to be searching for you because mm. no one knows you okay. but they might be searching for epoxy flooring in canada right mm -hmm. so you want to have that in that name line that's good so then after that um you want your bio to basically talk about what who you serve and how you serve them so we like to just say we do high quality epoxy installations in south florida we tell people we can transform your garage in one day we are metallic epoxy experts and at the bottom we do have a free ebook and we push people there and also they can schedule a quote there nice. so our bio is fully optimized in every way possible um our highlights are also basically um kind of just highlights are i mean we don't really update them that often but we just have them there i don't i i personally don't look at anyone's highlights ever if i go on someone's page right but just in case someone does we mm -hmm. have some testimonials we have some flake um videos metallic videos we got some brand partnership with jobber oh, so they basically pay us every single month and they pay us commission on anyone who signs up with that our link and that's because of our following. Mm. So that's mm -hmm. another reason why you should be posting on social media. Mm -hmm. They awesome. reached out to us. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, and th th that's the benefit of creating an amazing content. So if you scroll down, Christian, uh, let's just take a look at the feed here. Um, there's different type of videos. It's not it's not the same, mm -hmm. um, you know, picture. It's not the same angle. It's not the same type of project. Talk to us about your your working theory here. How are you going about putting this together? So every time I post a piece of content, I just I'm very intentional on what it is. What is the message behind the video? Mm -hmm. Usually it's some kind of inspirational thing mm. or a transformation or something along those lines. Um, the last few videos, I think, have been to push our YouTube channel. Okay. But um, usually every piece of content is you know, specific to one of those things I just mentioned. We like to keep our viewers engaged. I like to switch it up like Sometimes it's an inspirational video with the audio that's inspirational that mm -hmm. anyone can relate to. Um, sometimes it is an educational tip that mm. I know his followers who are in the concrete coating mm -hmm. industry would 
either find that valuable, share it with other people that they know, you know, yeah. um, learn something. That's the thing. Like when you're posting content, you need to be intentional and not just post, oh, this is a finished floor that we did over here and wherever. Mm -hmm. um, people get kind of get sick of that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, how are you going to make epoxy flooring interesting? Mm. You have to switch it up. You have to tell a story. And um, just that's how you keep people engaged is by giving them different things that they can either find educational or entertaining or something along those lines. Now, what we're seeing here, is this all shot from an iPhone, the majority mm -hmm. of it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So nice. we... Uh, everything that has been shot on his social media pages has been from my iPhone 12. Um, I actually just recently got the 15 two days ago or oh, come something. Come on, Daniel. You better get the, the, the Pro Max. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he did. He did. Come on, he gave, Pros. Me, he gave me the if one not, with I, them. I got to sponsor you. And the, the new. <laughs> yeah. So now, um, you know, but still, when you upload content on Instagram and TikTok anyway, it uploads at a certain right, right. 1080 what is it, HP or something? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So even if you take it in super 4K, it's mm -hmm. going to downsize your content or, right. you know, like lower the quality anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you have an iPhone 12 or an 11, those are still great cameras. Mm -hmm. Don't feel discouraged that I can't post this. Some of the most viral, and don't get me wrong, now at this point, because of where we're at in the business, we do have a team. Mm -hmm. um, I, have it, I have to have a team of video editors to keep up with the demand of content that needs to be posted on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. So don't look at our page and compare it to yourself and mm -hmm. think, oh, you know, how are they doing this, blah, blah, blah. We have a team now. But in the beginning, when it was just me, um, I was editing in the app. I was editing mm -hmm. in TikTok. I was editing in Instagram and doing the best that I could to just make it, you know, what, what it was, which was entertaining. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're starting out and you feel you're comparing yourself to the epoxy pros, mm -hmm. don't because right. unless you have, you know, the money to invest in a team, right. it's not like it's, it takes a lot of effort to push out this content once, twice a day. It's not just um, ooh, like super easy to do. It takes yeah. a lot of scripting, a lot of time, a lot of right. ideation on my side to come. I, I video chat with our video editors on mm -hmm. Zoom like three times a week. Mm. Mm. So it's not like this super easy thing, you know? Right, right. No, there's there's the whole storyline that's got to be put mm -hmm. right from the beginning. The hook, what's going to happen in the front end? How are you going to keep people engaged? What's the call to action at the end? How's that going to flow? I mean, just getting the frames, frame by frame sometimes, it's like a, a millisecond yeah. off. And then, it, you know, the video doesn't feel right. Like, yeah. there, there's a lot that goes on. Um, so... Maddie, the, the, the one thing that we get asked a lot is like, do we repurpose the content right. from Facebook Reels to yeah. TikTok and Instagram mm -hmm. and YouTube Shorts? How do you go about that? Do you create for each pro platform and then test it from there? Or are you creating one piece of content and then just, just posting it everywhere? So it depends on the piece of content that's created. Mm. So the thing is, um, there is a culture on TikTok. And mm -hmm. it's it, unless you no you just know on tiktok it's very raw videos unedited style people don't want to see overly edited videos on tiktok so i don't post overly edited videos on tiktok i post more um just raw stuff something that doesn't feel very edited tiktok is um definitely a platform that is great for growth but in my opinion i don't think it's the best for selling i think That's instagram good. is the best nice. for selling yes. On Instagram, you definitely want to be more polished. Our mm -hmm. content is edited nicely on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you see edited on Instagram, I will probably push to YouTube Shorts mm. because it, it just depends. So if we get one piece of content that's edited, like a short form video, I'll probably post it on Instagram and YouTube Shorts. Mm -hmm. I don't really post the same content on TikTok because of the culture. Okay. It's just not in that's the culture. In, yeah, we've been posting content on Concrete Marketing for TikTok. And then we just had our, our meeting on Monday. We're mm -hmm. going over KPIs. And, you know, this was the main thing, the main topic. is like, hey, everything we're posting, that's pretty much uh, a snippet of this podcast episode in TikTok. It's not working. We're barely mm -hmm. getting one heart on that thing. And we used to get, you know, a couple of dozen hearts. Now, if you're listening to this, make sure you go to TikTok, follow us, give <laughs> us some, some love, yeah. share some love. But 
now knowing about the culture. I have a I'm tip gonna, for you. Yeah, go ahead. So are you posting on TikTok um, like the captions are popping up and stuff already like edited for it's, you? It's already captions are burned and we just have the, the frame and then, you know, there's uh, the, the, the logo on the top and the video. In the so middle. I have my video editors edit two, t two styles of videos. Mm -hmm. One is edited nicely with the logo and everything that's for Instagram and YouTube. Okay. I have them edit the same video without any of the text no logos so it's the raw and it can still be edited i just don't have any of the nice graphics popping up or text mm. popping up and i'll post it on tiktok and just add the captions through the tiktok app wow so the thing with tiktok is when you use the captions those words are also seo aka search engine optimized um so when go if you're talking about let's say mm -hmm. marketing for your concrete marketing crew mm -hmm. um someone could search concrete marketing and they would find you because let's say throughout the video you were talking about it. Mm -hmm. But TikTok's only gonna recognize it if you have those TikTok captions. Mm. So if you're using That's overly good. edited captions in your videos you're posting on TikTok, it's not gonna work. Wow, mm -hmm. so you gotta let the machine do its so, own transcription. So you have to get edited, your nicely edited videos, mm -hmm. post that on YouTube Shorts and Instagram. You can take the same video, but take out all the edits mm. just so it is you whatever talking about whatever it is and add the captions on tiktok it's good and you should see a difference beautiful we're definitely going to try that mm -hmm. for our next mm -hmm. upload team yeah, let if me you're know. watching team you better be watching this i'm going to send you over the replay all right uh, <laughs> let's pull up uh the youtube so that we just can get a feel in was this your first time uploading a youtube video okay no it wasn't okay. it was our so i tried to edit a youtube video um and the edited video, I edited a video and it just wasn't good. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm like the queen of all types of concrete mm -hmm. marketing or social media marketing. You know, I'm good at organic growth and building community, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a great video editor. Okay. Right. So long form content especially is different than short, yes. short form yes. content. Mm -hmm. yes. So we did have to hire a few video editors for the recent video that we posted on YouTube. Um, so that was professionally edited um, and it, it came out great. I mean, we're super happy with the way it turned out. We are pumping out a lot more content like that. We're more intentional now with vlogging. We have microphones, we have cameras Yes. because we decided to invest in it, but you yes. don't al mm -hmm. always need to invest in that. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm -hmm. we decided to because we could, Yes. you know? Um, I have a vision, like the way I see things is like I have a vision and I talk to the video editors about the vision. Daniel is very good at executing mm. my ideas and That's he's good. just a natural. So um, yeah, the Epoxy Pros have been killing it and we're excited to get on YouTube and we hope to see a, a good amount of growth on there. And I love it. And I see the, the name, you have the Epoxy Pros and then you have the bracket. Mm -hmm. um, epoxy flooring. Do you do that on purpose? Search engine optimized search as well. Search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. epoxy flooring is one of the most searched words in the epoxy industry. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then go to the videos, click on the video tab there, right there. And is that the, the, the video? Yeah. And you, you guys got a call from that video already? or Not yet. Like we okay. just uploaded that okay. like two hours ago. But um, actually our YouTube shorts was this was our first video that we actually tried to make it a YouTube style video. Mm -hmm. But like I mentioned earlier, we, we repost and repurpose our videos from Instagram and we post them on YouTube shorts. So we have about like 970 subscribers only posting YouTube shorts. Nice. Wow. So that's even good. if you're like someone who's like, oh, I don't know how to post long form videos, but you have the short form videos, mm -hmm. just create a channel and start posting the content you've already posted before on YouTube shorts, but don't have any logos. I always see companies no having logos. posting, don't have, no, well, you can have your business logo, but don't have like, if you save a video directly from Instagram, it'll have the okay. Instagram logo. You don't wanna post something with the Instagram logo on YouTube. You don't wanna post something with a TikTok logo mm -hmm. on Instagram or YouTube and vice versa all around. Mm -hmm. It's just, they, these algorithms are so smart that mm -hmm. they can detect it, AI. they see it, they are. AI, all of the whatever robots is doing this, they like, they can see it. And if yeah. they see, oh, this is, they see it as they're trying to push another platform. They're not gonna push another platform on their own platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So save it without the logo 
there's a few, um, I'll give you a website. If you post a TikTok video mm -hmm. and you download it, it will have the logo. But if you copy that link to the video into a website, it's called snaptick.com, spelled mm. S-N-A-P-T-I-K.com. Okay. You can download the video with no TikTok logo. Beautiful. That's good. Love it. All right, so we've got the YouTube. Uh, take us over to TikTok here for a second. Let's just show them the, uh, the feed. And then as far as, so you, we've talked a little bit about uh, Instagram being the best channel for conversions, for mm -hmm. selling floors. Then you have YouTube as well coming in and then TikTok with, with uh, its own community. Uh, that was a good insight, a good revelation mm -hmm. for me. Um, talk to us about the approach here. What, what are, what's the goal with your TikTok channel? If so, it's not a high converting uh, vehicle. Well, now um, we do have eBooks and we are going to be selling oh, that's good. all different types of digital products yeah. soon. Um, so we didn't really have um, an angle or a reason of going viral or growing the platform, and which is why I got into learning about digital products. So on our stand store, I have a link to our free eBook. <laughs> We're collecting emails. So that way when his online digital products that are for sale are ready. Yeah. We already have over 600 subscribers to Amazing. our email list. So that's the goal is growing our email list to yeah. sell. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. So we do in-person courses. He's gonna be selling some other courses and we have direct emails to people who are interested in the epoxy industry that we can tell them, hey, we just have this new product, boom. Oh, I love what you, you guys yeah. are doing. And, Thank you. and you're also working on your own, own course. You want to talk a little yeah. bit about that? Yes. So um, I get a lot of questions about, can you help me with my social media? Can you, mm -hmm. you know, create content for me? Unfortunately, just because of the amount of work I have with the Epoxy Pros, I cannot take any more clients, but I can teach you how I do what I do. Mm -hmm. So I am creating a course. I'm mm -hmm. super excited about this. It is all about how to optimize your social media profile. And it goes more in depth. Um, more than I talked about even on this podcast, it goes into how to set up your social media for success, how to optimize your profile, what you should post about, like 20 ideas of um, content that content you should be creating. Mm -hmm. um, it goes into some video editing tutorials and tips. It goes into um, finding keywords to push your content that's out good. even more. I have so many tips and tricks that I have not even mentioned on the, this podcast that's yeah. going to be in my course. It's going to be less than $100, about seven modules, um, seven chapters, and then more yeah. modules in the chapters. So Beautiful. it's very in-depth. Nice. Love it. Mm -hmm. Hey, good. so if you're listening to this, episode your concrete success podcast or watching this on youtube make sure you connect with connie what's your instagram is that the best place where they can connect yeah. with you yeah you instagram? can find me on instagram um it's at creating connie and i spelled connie c-o-n-i okay. um that's i'm on instagram and tiktok i will be announcing when my course is live on my platform. There you have it. You're creating your own content as well. Yes. Yeah, so you awesome. will probably see me popping up more on the Epoxy Pros because I've been involved this entire time. Right. I just never thought to talk about it, um, but people seem to be intrigued. So that's another thing. When you post a piece of content and you see mm -hmm. it performs well, maybe you should post more of that type of content if mm -hmm. you want to grow. Mm -hmm. You nice. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we posted a video and it was like I was in it and a lot of people were like, oh, couple goals and things like that. So I just something clicked yeah. and I was like, Oh, let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. You know? So oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Creating Connie on Instagram and the epoxy pros, make sure you follow them on Instagram, YouTube, uh, and, uh, what is it? TikTok. TikTok. What about Facebook? What, what's going on with we're, Facebook? Are you <laughs> doing reels on Facebook? What are you guys doing on Facebook? Yeah. I know, um, through meta you can post like on Instagram and Facebook. We mm -hmm. just kind of need to, uh, we got like logged out of, Facebook. Okay, so okay, we have to it. like get back on it. We'll so we're in the out. process. We'll, yeah. we'll hook Let's you up on yeah. Concrete Marketing Crew. That's what we're here for. All yeah. right. So Maddie, what, what, what other questions you got? I for don't us? know. I mean, I guess maybe like you just talked about like, you know, couple goals and stuff like that. So let's talk about something a little bit like different. Yes. So um, you work with your partner. I work with my partner. Talk to me about that. What is it like working with your partner? Yeah. So it definitely depends on the day. Um, <laughs> yes. However, you know, most of the time, I think there's a lot of respect between the two of us. I really respect what he does. He respects what I do. And when it comes to someone asking about 
you know, social media or any kind of marketing. He just kind of refers them to me. So we work together in terms of like how certain things are going to look. Um, when he's creating, when we're creating content together, I want him to feel super comfortable because he has such an incredible personality that I like mm -hmm. to let it shine through, nice. which is what we plan on doing on YouTube because we didn't really show so much of his personality on Instagram and TikTok. So we plan to do that a lot on YouTube. Um, but I think there's just like a lot of respect there. Um, he really listens to me before he shuts anything down. Um, mm -hmm. And same with me. Um, I try to listen to him. You know, <laughs> I'll let him. Yeah. <laughs> whenever you guys have him on the podcast, I'll let him talk about <laughs> what it's like to work with me. But I just, you know, we've known each other since we were 15. We met in high school. Awesome. Nice. And um, I just, you know, respect and, and love him a lot. So That's we awesome. like to work together. I think we weren't sure how it would be to work together. But now mm. that we've been doing it, uh, I think we work together really well. Isn't it I fun? Like it is it, fun. It is fun. <laughs> it like, is fun. There's a lot, a lot of couples out there that say, I can never work with my wife. Well, I mean, there's a problem there because <laughs> I, I do enjoy, like, I don't mind uh, being in proximity. There's times where, right. you know, I, I'm on track on doing something, mm -hmm. accomplishing something. And when I'm focused, I'm focused. She could be asking me mm -hmm. anything, but I have no problems whatsoever. And there, there's times where I'm like, okay. I need to go to my own office and like yeah, we need to close the door. I feel that plenty like, of times so you need to close the door. But and all when in you know all, closed. I think we we get along just fine. Yeah. What's where am I the biggest pain in the ass? <laughs> let's let's share with. I want to hear this. Raw, relevant, you know, real. <laughs> the truth. The yes. Raw, oh, I yes. think I think you're you're you are the the toughest when um there's a a glitch or a flaw in the fulfillment of what we're gonna like promise to yes. our clients. At yes. that point, then there is no there's no. There's oh, no. nothing other than, like there's no good side there ever. So I think yeah. that would be the the, the biggest um, flaw. I mean I don't know Danny. I like I like this is what you say. I we were talk about work when we're not at work. You know I like that. Mm -hmm. I think that you know your fun is you know stuff that has to do with with the agency and with yourself and growing. I like mm -hmm. that too. You know so I can't really say that there's a part in our working together that I don't love. I, I just feel like you are the biggest pain in the butt when like there's a glitch in like something. That's the worst. Oh, absolutely. Case scenario. I'll, I'll point it out and I'll work with the team to get it resolved. But uh, <laughs> all in all, uh, it's amazing absolutely. working with Maddie. Uh, anyone that's been uh, a client of Concrete Marketing Crew will actually uh, say positive things about yeah. Maddie, and that's why she's in the front lines <laughs> managing the, the client success team. Awesome. Yeah. And I also just want to say, like, I think that's also important. Mm -hmm. Like, we stay in our own lanes. Yes. Right? I... So for me, I know that I'm the biggest pain in the ass when someone tries to step on my toes or tell me how something should be ran when it comes to the social media. Yeah, yeah. I will bite your head off because oh, I'm, yeah, I yeah. just can't. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I know. Like I yeah. know what needs to be done. So if someone kind of goes in there, then that's when I'm like, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is my field. Oh, Maddie does right. that to me all the time. I'm like, hey, that video over there? She's like, ah, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. It's I'm like, it's working. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Shut your mouth. No, shut your mouth. That's yeah, that's good. me. Um, but... Overall, I think when you respect what, the, like, you have your lanes, mm -hmm. you know, like, I'm the social media marketing person, and he is basically everything else, you know, so when you respect what the other does, I think it, it really helps to make it more of, like, a team thing, and like you guys said, it's, like, always fun to work together, like, I feel the same way, him and I are always laughing, we're always having a good time, and we just, it makes work fun, even yes. the stressful time, yes. right. it's nice yes. to have someone to lean on, yes. because mm -hmm. work yes. and entrepreneurship is not easy, yeah. mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, late, late night shifts, and, mm -hmm. you know, I have to be understanding, or vice versa so i think um that's really cool that you guys work well together as oh, well oh that's amazing yeah. that thank you mm -hmm. for sharing those tips yeah and um so if you're listening to this again on amazon apple spotify make sure you follow us connect with us share with us your feedback let us know if five star one star review give us your comment hopefully it's a good uh, feedback and if you're watching this on youtube make sure you subscribe leave us a comment like this episode and also give our friends at the Epoxy Pros and Creating Connie a follow on Instagram. 
and all the social media platforms. Uh, this has been a great show. I really enjoy it. Next time, we're going to have Daniel. we got to drag Daniel over here <laughs> and uh, and have all of us here together. I think we're going to have a lot of fun Oh, here. we're going to have fun. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Uh, Maddie, anything else? No, that, I think it was great. I'm excited. I, I can't wait for, for our, you know, our followers to listen to this and absolutely like follow Connie look at her tips learn from what they do because it, it's just amazing it's amazing work overall thank you beautiful Connie any last words yeah I just want to say thank you guys for having me on your podcast and your platform and we really respect what you do I just want to throw it out there I know nothing about paid ads or marketing mm. and um, we're excited you know to work with you in the future and just thank you for having me on appreciate it thank you for yeah. coming along Team, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Your Concrete Success Podcast. This is Danny Barrera, Concrete Marketing Crew. Make sure you check us out at ConcreteMarketingCrew.com. Take care.